Okay, today I'm going to show you how to refine results in actual based applications. So um, this can be anything that um, is built on actual. It could be mass, it could be done, it could be colored web, um, it could be actual itself. Uh, so first off, let's go and have a look. Um, let's pull out some hosts out of mass. Um, uh, list and we'll go... So I'm just going to pull out, I've got some dummy hosts in here um, that we can mess around with. So, um, let's say refine equals, and we'll say donkey, and you can see that's uh, selected just that one. But when I was practicing for this uh, particular tutorial, I did, I did refine equals k, and <laughs> it turns out they all have k in there somewhere. Um, let's try another one, let's try, um, let's see if example. Okay, so I only have that one there. I wondered if I might have had some other examples in there with different IP addresses. Um, so, okay, let's do let's do the other way. Let's go back over to this, and we're going to exclude example. And so you see now we've only got the, those two results there. Um, so refine and exclude. Um, those two are both working on any field in the results set. Let's take a look at one of these results. Um, so we'll just take the last one. Uh, oh yeah, so first and last. Um, so last is that one first here. Um, so that's a couple more tools you can take. Um, if we go and have a look at nested, we can see what fields we've got that we can search on. So we could say, uh, Let's just quick, quick, quickly bring up, um, if we go over here and type in actual minus minus help equals, um, and we're going to go exclude. And you'll see that we have exclude each and exclude item. And then if we go require, and uh, Right, we can ignore most of those. Well, the two that I want to show you right at this moment um, are require each and require item. So these match up with the exclude each and the exclude item. So what these are, exclude each, you'll see um, is the same as refine. Uh, sorry, require each is the same as refine and exclude each is the same as exclude, which basically means um, you can specify something and it will, any field, if it matches, then that counts as a match. Um, exclude item and require item, they say, hey, we want to look at one of these fields. So here, we could say that, uh, well, actually, let's have a look at, let's say, um, so this is going to be a much slower test here. Um, I'll explain why when uh, I do the mass tutorial. Um, but we'll say uh, uh, require item equals um, location, so we want to say the location field is local. And li like I say, this is a quite a slow um, search. And so you can see here we've got two results uh, come up. So that's actually quite a good example. Now I suspect if I do manual, that will show the other result. That's just because uh, manual is the default when you go and add a thing. Uh, no, okay, so let's have a look. We can go require each. Okay, there we go, and let's have a look at what collection this is in. This doesn't have a location. Uh, okay, so it was collection I should have uh, I should have searched for. So if we come back to our thing here, and we'll say collection, and um, the location I had actually manually set on uh, those other two, which is why they had them set. Uh, and that was in a demo for the documentation. Um, so those are all manual, is that right? Uh, let's have a look. We wait. Yeah, okay, so that was that was my mistake. Okay, sorry, I wasn't wrong about that. That's fine. Beautiful. So we'll uh, we'll leave that alone now. 
Um, now I've shown you uh, refine, I've shown you exclude, I've shown you the each and item versions of those. Uh, I've shown you first and last, I haven't shown you offset. This is something I don't actually use very often, so let's have a look at the help for that. Um, boink. Okay. So read this description here. Um, so we say, so it basically takes x and y, and after x results, then we start taking results, and we take the first y number. Um, now, what's uh, interesting is that uh, if you say that y is negative, then we're going to go from the bottom rather than from the top, um, which can be quite useful. So let's now go back to our... Um, our results here and we're going to say that collection can be, we'll put it in quotes so that uh, the regex doesn't cause havoc with bash um, and we're going to say manual okay so this should give us um, about three or four results I think that's fine so we have five results there um, So let's do an offset, offset result um, equals, and so what we're going to say here is we'll say 2, and we'll take 2. So what we're doing, no, maybe we should make that um, something so it's more obvious. So we're going to say after the first two results, we're going to take one result. Now, if I remember rightly, this will mean we get donkey. Yay! <laughs> okay, now, if I just simply go negative here, um, if I go negative, having five results, it's going to be symmetrical, and so therefore I'm going to get donkey again, which doesn't do very well for my example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this 2 to a 1, and we'll then get, instead, uh, we'll get halocab.com um, for the negative result, so let's do that now and we'll wait for that there we go um, so that gives us a negative uh, that's if we do the negative result and if we do the positive result that should give us K1 so let's do that yay okay so that's offset. I think that's everything um, that's uh, worthwhile showing right now. Um, if you do actual minus help equals manipulations. Actually, we're going to make that a lowercase m for manipulations. Okay, maybe we're not. Okay, there we go. Um, see, I did uh, help equals manipulation. Um, and you can see here that there is a whole heap of stuff which you can play around with. Um, oh, actually, that's something I should quickly show you. When I did first and last, I only showed you um, just taking the default value, which is one result. So you can see here, it, it takes a parameter. So if we go and apply this here, um, and we'll say first equals 2, and what we're going to get is the, uh, we're going to get the first two results, and conversely, if we do last, we're going to get the last two results. Yay! I think that's enough. Hopefully that's useful. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments down below and I'll answer them as best as I can.